if the Mueller testimony this week made anything clear, it was that getting rid of Trump will have to wait until November 2020. Here's Congressman Adam Schiff on CNN Thursday. We do need to be realistic, and that is the only way he's leaving office, uh, at least at this point, is by being voted out. I agree. Impeachment has been a pipe dream, a folly, maybe even a waste of time. Here's tonight's headline, Beat Trump at the Ballot Box. The next chance for Democrats to make that case will be at this week's CNN debates in Detroit on Tuesday and Wednesday. Joe Biden enters the debates leading the polls and promising to stop being polite and start getting real. But behind him, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are neck and neck jockeying for second. The progressive New England senators are fighting for many of the same voters and have similar messages. And on night one, they will share the same stage. Now, I've likened the Warren-Bernie battle to a murder mystery like Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians. And then there was one. But for either Warren or Sanders to be the last one standing, they'll have to take each other on. And the longer they both remain in the race, splitting progressive voters, the more likely it is that the last man standing will be Biden. Now, they've been reluctant to go after each other, and it's early, I get that. But it's only a matter of time before they will have to take the gloves off. Could that happen on Tuesday? Here's the deal. You've heard the expression, this town isn't big enough for the both of us. Well, for Sanders and Warren, the town is feeling very cramped. They've made very clear their differences with Joe Biden, whom they've painted as wrong on foreign policy and too moderate. That distinction is clear, and it's an important one for voters to know. But what about with each other? Why should you vote for Warren over Sanders or vice versa? What does she offer that he doesn't? How does he see our country's challenges differently from her? What significant policy differences do they have? The longer that's unclear to voters, the worse they will both fare. In fact, the most important job they should be thinking about on Tuesday night is not debating Trump, but debating each other. Okay, with me now to preview Warren versus Sanders and all the big debate matchups is Democratic strategist Mark Lanaba, who is a former senior strategist for the Bernie Sanders 2016 campaign. Okay, so you know, Mark, you know Bernie better than I do, certainly, and you don't see that playing out on Tuesday. You actually think they might, you know, team up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, the, you know, you, you've got two dynamics in that first night of deba the debate. You've got uh, an ideological uh, debate, uh, and, and you've got a, a generational debate. I mean, don't forget mm. that uh, both Warren and Bernie uh, are the two oldest candidates on the stage. You've got Buttigieg and O'Rourke there, and I think yeah. they're, they're looking, looking to, 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 to drive that, that uh, new generation lane. Um, but, but I actually think what, what's going to happen is you're going to see some of the moderate candidates, whether it's Delaney or Hickenlooper, perhaps Senator Klobuchar, um, are going are gonna to try and, uh, try and uh, take on either Warren or Bernie. And, uh, and I think you could see the two of them actually um, coming to each other's defense. And so I think that the dynamic that everybody wants on that night is, is Sanders versus Warren. Uh, I actually think it's going to be Sanders, Warren versus the rest of the field. I just think it's, I think it's necessary. And maybe, maybe there's an argument to be made that it's not necessary this early, but it's inevitable. It's inevitably going to have to come, you know, to, to a head. And, and I remember during the 2016 campaign, you said that the progressive wing of the Democratic Party was dying for a champion. I don't know. Does it help Bernie if they now have two in Bernie and <laughs> Warren? <laughs> Well, I, I actually think what's going to happen, it, and it's not going to happen for several months, but, but I think as we get mm. into January and February of next year, as Iowa and New Hampshire get closer, I think one of them is going to establish some momentum and some dominance. And what, what's actually going to happen is that the progressive base is going to fall away from one or the other. And, and I think whoever has the momentum at the end is going is is to put it together. I, I, and hmm. I also would say to you, you've got to be very careful in these debates and in a multi-candidate primary field um, about attacking other candidates. Because, you know, the, the, it's, uh, you, you know, you can go attack a candidate and do them damage. But you also end up damaging yourself and driving. Who knows where you drive your support to? And there are a host of progressive candidates in this race. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's unreasonable to think that Kamala Harris couldn't pick up support from from Warren or Bernie. So uh, you know, I, I think they have to be very careful. And if I were in either camp, I, I would. I would be urging them. Uh, I would be telling my candidate not to, not to not to attack. 
Well, so if they defend each other, as you suggest they might, I, I'm thinking about Joe Biden. Isn't that sort of a dream scenario? Because then he can say, well, they're both naive. They're both impractical. Neither of them can beat Trump. If he can treat the two of them as one, um, isn't that helpful for him? No, I, I mean, I, I really I really don't. I mean, because I, I think at the end of the day, he's going to have to take on the substance of their ideas. I mean, I think that's the power of both of their candidacies, right, is they have big, bold, progressive ideas that tackle yeah. the central challenges that the country faces. Now, you, you as a conservative may not, may not agree with the, the, those, those prescriptions, uh, but you have to say these two candidates are taking on the central challenges uh, on education, on health care, on the economy. And, and I think that's what gives their candidacies power. And, and I, I wouldn't worry about that at all. Well, so you tell me, I mean, you're right, I'm, I'm probably not going <laughs> to vote for either of them, but right. you tell me, what are the differences? Where are there substantial policy differences between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren? Well, I don't, I, don't, I, th I think that the policy difference is clearly on the margins, but, but I think, you know, for Elizabeth Warren, I mean, she has one huge distinction over Bernie Sanders, and that is she's a Democrat, and, uh, and I think that matters inside of a Democratic mm. primary. Um, I think you've also seen her, you know, mm. very clearly say, I'm not a socialist, I'm a capitalist. I want to reform this capitalist system. So I think she has a couple dividing lines with Senator Sanders mm. that, that, that are pretty clear. And, and, and from my view, being a Democrat is, is a pretty powerful message in the primary. Um, you know, Senator mm. Sanders, on the other hand, you know, I, I, I think his, his argument is, look, I had the courage to stand up and lead on these issues in 2015 and 16. Mm -hmm. And, um, you, know, uh, you, you know, you have to have courage of, of your convictions and leadership to be able to take on a guy like Donald Trump. So I, th I think, yeah. you know, the distinctions, if they go to them, um, are, are not really on policy. So do you think Bernie Sanders will run as an independent if Biden gets the nomination? No, I don't. I really don't. I mean, I think he made that decision before... Uh, the 1516 campaign, and mm -hmm. um, I, I just, there is no way. I, I mean, whatever you think about Bernie Sanders, let me tell you one thing. He sees Donald Trump as a, as a fundamental threat to this country and to its future, and there is no way uh, Bernie Sanders would participate in allowing Donald Trump to be reelected president. So as the primary gets closer and closer to its end, if Elizabeth Warren is, is leading Bernie Sanders by, say, 10 points, do you think he'll drop out? Well, I don't think he'll drop out, but I, I just think some of his support will drop away and she'll, she'll pick up momentum. I mean, uh, look, I mean, if you look at the, 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 where, where the polls sit in I Iowa and New Hampshire today, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, Biden's somewhere in the mid-20s. You have uh, Warren, Sanders, and, and Harris in the teens. Mm -hmm. um, any of those candidates could, could, could rocket past Biden and get mm -hmm. up into the, the, 30, the low 30s and, 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 and win, win those two states. And, um, and so I think it's capable, either one are capable of doing it. So earlier this week, I'm sure you saw it, an MSNBC legal analyst said that Bernie made her skin crawl, that he wasn't pro-woman. And he responded yeah. by actually putting that clip in an ad to, to defend himself. Um, there, there is a perception, and maybe it's an unfair one, that, you know, the Bernie bros and maybe even Bernie himself, yeah. you know, he isn't in touch with women. Is that, is that a weakness yeah. for him? I don't think that's a fair characterization, but 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 I will say this, just as a political matter, yeah. uh, Bernie Sanders carries a lot of of damage and baggage from the 2016 campaigns. I, mm -hmm. I think that's unfortunate myself, but but I think it's just fundamentally a reality. And that the skin crawl thing was really inappropriate, but mm -hmm. but but that just is a, an example of there there are a whole host of of activists in the Democratic Party who who really are still very bitter at Bernie Sanders. Hmm. Democratic strategist Mark Longabaugh, we have got to have you back to talk about these debates to. and the rest of, okay. you know, what will be a very long primary and, and campaign. Thanks so much for coming on. Okay, you bet.